Hey loves, my name's Melina. I do videos about makeup, plants, my life, and travel. But today I'm gonna repot this huge, mature, very fenestrated Monstera Deliciosa that I found at my local loaves. I'm gonna repot it from soil to a more airy substrate. So keep watching and do subscribe. Okay, you guys, so I have this huge beautiful monstera that i got at lowe's and oh my god look at the leaf it's so big i've been looking for a monstera that has like fenestrations the inner fenestrations the little circles oh my god and for those of y'all that don't know what fenestrations are they're pretty much the little um cuts and little circles oh my god and it has secondary holes oh my god and look at this one has fenestrations oh my god this one's kind of stuck in the trellis this one has fenestrations it's a little beat up um these leaves are a little bit beat up but with my care they're gonna be beautiful and look she's pregnant and the size of these trunks oh my god and it comes with a little trellis it does have some leaves that are damaged but that's okay you guys so um first things first i hate plant and soil so i'm gonna repot this baby up like right away take her out of her soil and um maybe leave her in water for a day we'll see um but yeah i'm definitely repotting her i found her at loaves for 42 dollars with tax 45 dollars. so yeah she is a beauty and i can't believe i have one of this size this is beautiful um that's my first ever monstera she's kind of looking sad because she needed to be watered but cannot compare to these jumbo leaves this is definitely a deliciosa like the bigger variety but yeah there she is she's so tall like she wow so what we're gonna need is a trash bag and um i'm gonna take her out of the soil and out of that bucket and you know what i'm gonna transplant her in this clear container i just want to see the growth of the roots and see if it's happy kind of keep an eye on her and um this was eight bucks so um yeah i'm definitely gonna not spend like 20 bucks on a huge pot when i can check on the roots on this this is so ingenious i think i got this at target the 28.3 quarts it's 16 inches by 11 inches and 13 and a 3 4 inch Definitely not gonna use this pot because I'm gonna cut. Oh my gosh, she has some rot here. So you guys, it's okay if you break any of the roots, they will grow back as long as you don't break all the roots. Don't go crazy here. I'm trying carefully not to hurt any roots, but I do lose quite a few roots. And a lot of the roots that I lost are the secondary roots. As long as you have a main root system, it's okay, you guys. I'm also getting rid of the soil to put it in a better substrate, but you guys don't have to. So I took the trellis out. It was stuck in the leaves. I had to wiggle it and I kind of did a little damage. But anyways, we're getting rid of this for now. Ha <laughs> 
my ears, my big monster. She barely fits, and she takes up like all my damn kitchen. My kitchen's kind of small, but with this baby on here, like it's really small. Anyways, like here are the roots. Um, washing the roots, getting all the dirt out. I'm going to cut some of the dead leaves and we're going to get it all pretty and soil free, you guys. I'm going to maybe soak her for, I might just leave her in here and then pot her the next day tomorrow. We'll see, but yeah. So I'm going to cut some of the yellowing brown leaves because they're going to go anyways. And I kind of go crazy and cut some green leaves that could have stayed alive. But I want this plant just to have mature leaves. You guys don't have to do what I do. This one's damaged. Getting rid of all these, you guys. And it lost these leaves. And it lost more roots. But here are the roots. Um, I still gotta kind of like maybe use like a little brush and take all this out. But pretty much it has beautiful roots. Um, yeah, my sink is gonna hate me, but Literally, I can make two plants out of this one if I wanted to, but I'm not. I'm going to keep it all one big plant. So I strongly suggest to give your plant a shower. I know it sounds funny, but with the shower, we're getting rid of any pests that might be in between the stems, in between the leaves and the roots. We're pretty much getting your plant all cleaned up. Okay, you guys. So here's the Monstera. She's all washed. And I'm pretty sure she's pest free. I didn't see any pests whatsoever. Hopefully not, but there she is. And yeah, she's huge. And um here are the final roots in this tubware container. I'm gonna put some water in there. And I'm going to let it stay here overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to continue and repot her. So I'm going to use some Super Thrive. I'm going to put some water in here. So I'm using Super Thrive. And Super Thrive helps with plant shock from it being transplanted. You can find it at your local Walmart. Also online. I strongly recommend it. I'm going to plant it. And like a combination of like a moss and perlite, but yeah, I'm gonna add more water and then do the outro. Okay, you guys, so I potted the monstera. Like I said, it was at Loeb's, it was $42, and with taxes, it was like 45 something like that. But yeah, um, check your local Loeb's, they do have huge monstera sometimes, not all of them. I got mine here in Dallas, Texas, and yeah, um, if you want to see me actually potting it up, so I'm going to repot it in Lekka, Sphagnum Moss, Perlite, and Bark. So the mixture of this will make the substrate really, really, really airy. It'll flush, the water will flush through and um, it'll be easier. You won't get root rot. You'll have more time to, like, if you're lazy like me and want to water every other week, every two weeks, you can do that. But I'll definitely keep y'all updated. Stick around for part two where I actually repot it. Um, yeah, and I add all the substrate and then... Y'all could see it. Um, this is me in the future. She's still alive. So this is a sneak peek of her. She's still alive. She's potted up. And I actually have a friend next to her. Because uh, this bucket, oh my god, you can put pots on top of that. But yeah, stick around for part two.
Okay, you guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hopefully will see you on part two. Uh, yeah, do subscribe to my channel and help me out, help my channel grow, and it was nice having you here in my channel. Bye, guys.